So, so what are like the fields that you plan on hopping in, in during retirement? Like, well, well, like for, for me, bro, like it really ain't retirement, bro. I'm saying, but at, 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 it's not retirement, but we got to call the next phase. phase. No, gonna, the next gonna, phase. All right, all right. That's what we're going to Retirement from phase. one thing. Yeah, yeah leave <laughs> you know. it. That's what I'm saying. My like, parents retired. They ain't doing They yeah, actually stopped but, doing but almost see, anything. But, but, <laughs> this, but this why I don't like the retirement word. Word for me is because I can still play. Mm. Yeah, I so can still play on a high level, in. bro. Like, go cut on the film from last year and see. But you bounce back in, bro. I'm oh, vicious like oh, that. I I'm, thought that you said. I can literally, I, I thought I you can said literally you take a year away. off, two years off, and still go back to football no, at 38, 39, and go be a dog. You walked away. I no, I did. Uh, That's yeah, what I'm yeah, telling yeah, you. So yeah, we yeah. ain't really calling retirement yeah, because at the end of the day, I know I can still gas up on the field. You already don't know Jeffrey. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm talking that and meaning it, like, bro, body is straight. But what what was that decision like? Because I feel like for a lot of for, here, yeah. for pro athletes, it's like <laughs> such an you <laughs> intrinsic part of who they are as a human being, and it's and it's a very difficult thing to step away at a certain 100%. point. You feel like you kind of did it on your own terms, whereas most people are kind of forced into it. So catch my drift, and that's a hell of a question, bro. I re I respect you for that question. I'm that, totally sports illiterate, by the way, nah, but I, I, but cool. I have a huge amount of respect for athletes. I'm always curious I, about I, it. I feel like that's a pivotal ass point in guys' career where they're at. And a lot of these young dudes got to understand this too because I was once a rookie. I was once a second, third-year player that had the world in my hands, you know, where possibly talking about getting a big contract and all that other stuff. So now that I'm removed years after that, it's like I'm at the point now where I could tell these young dudes, like, hey, listen, enjoy that shit while you can. Take advantage of that shit while you can. Yeah. Because once you hit your mid-30s or 32, 30. It ain't the same. And the politics kick in because you know why? Because they like, oh, this the NFL. They want this. The, it's a young man's game, yeah, bro. Yeah, they want you. You feel out. what I'm saying? It's mm. the young man's game, bro. So it's not that I couldn't play. It's it's that they are more invested in the young kids because my contract wasn't what it was when I was 24, 25, 20. I'm not getting paid the same, bro. So and my, I'm more disposable now to these people. You know what I'm saying? When you was younger, you got that big bag. You got to beat it. Yeah. You know, for, for me, being a legend and doing what I did was always cool, but it was like I was I was cool on the politics of me being older and not being a vocal point like I was in my earlier twenties, bro. So for me, it's like instead of me sitting in a season and going to work like an eight to five, because this shit is real work, yeah. And me spending all that time away from my kids and family and not making the money that I once made, it it, it becomes not about the money. Mm. Yeah. It becomes the love of the game. Yeah. The love of the game for me, I'm not stupid. I'm sit I could be sitting at the house like this, chilling with my kids, playing with my kids, throwing the ball, and still making what they paying yeah, me right for there. Sure. Cause it's not about yeah, the money. I made yeah, enough money yeah. that my money gonna kick off yeah, more than I was getting exactly. by wasting all this time and being right here. So yeah. it's like for me, I'm like, bro, I, I love the game, but I don't love it that much because guess what? The financials ain't there like that no more, bro. And and for me, I'm playing for my future for my kids' kids. You know what I'm saying? So like if I could sit at home, just be, just be honest. If you could sit at home and make what you're making right here without doing this, yeah, you could love it and you do it for a long time. But it's like, if I could do this at home and not really work as hard, why the fuck am I working? Yeah. Like, it got to be something yeah. else more yeah, to yeah, it, bro. Yeah, and for yeah, me, yeah. like, that shit was cool and I loved it, but I love, I want to be with my kids. I done been away it. from my kids so long. They done been seeing daddy travel and go all this. Like, I'm, I'm spending all this time. And my kids are older now. So I feel like it's important for me to give them back. Well, my dad gave on, me. On year one, it's like pure excitement, and it's it's you're like a celebrity on this crazy yeah. ass level, and the money sure. is fucking new. Exactly. And then once you've done it for 15 years, it's like it's like going to work mm -hmm. at the fucking yeah. grocery yeah. store is yeah. for a lot of people yeah. because it's just you're it sort of doing it all over yeah. every fucking day, bro. Yeah. I'm sitting there like if if I could just go play games on Sundays and I had to go do Monday through uh, Saturday, right? Bitch, I'll, st I'll be there right now. <laughs> I still be doing it right now, but it's just the it's just the repetitiveness. I've been doing it for so long. It's like uh like and too, like I don't wanna like be doing something where like I'm more mad than happy. Yeah. And when I'm saying that is because I knew how like valuable I was. I knew how good I was and I knew the work I was putting in and I wasn't really getting the like I wasn't really getting the ball because you know why? They ain't got no vocal point in making sure D-Jack the 35-year-old get the ball. They want these young the Lamar Jacksons or whoever these 22, 23-year-olds is. It's just yeah. how the game go, bro. Yeah. It's, only, it's only a few Kobe's, LeBron's and I'm not trying to say I'm not that but it's like 
it's different, bro. When you when you LeBron, you still able to get thirty something million a year. You know what I'm saying? You still able to do it and have fun. But like he playing why? Because he want to play with his son. He yeah. didn't. He didn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he chasing legacy, and I'm I'm sure he want to go get another ring. But at the end of the day, bro, he's still playing because he wants to play with his son. Let's just mm. be real. But is there a part of you? I've seen a lot of like sports documentaries where a professional athlete will stop. And then it's like there's a hole in their their fucking soul because they were yeah. so focused on winning and being the best athlete they could be for all those yeah. years. And all of a sudden, there's just this massive hole it's in your home. life that you kind of got to fill with something new, right? Yeah, you ain't got the you ain't got to go into the games and all these people rooting for you. Or right. They got your jerseys on. So that hole, that, that, that's, that's real, bro. But, like, for me, I really feel like I fulfilled everything I wanted out of it. And when I, and when I say that, like, man, coming from where I'm coming from, this shit wasn't promised. Homies not making it past 18, 15. Niggas ain't graduated from college. Niggas ain't graduated from high school. Yeah. So for me, like, where I made it to, bro, like, I never would have thought. And I ain't going to say, like, I ain't dream about it or, you know, like, think it was going to happen one day. But, like, come up for, like, I beat the odds, bro. Like, I'm 37 years, about to be 37 in December 1st, and I'm sitting in front of y'all. I'm sure, bro, could vouch for this. He beat the odds. No, man. Like, we ain't, this shit ain't promised for us, bro. Just, like, me being, I, bro, I was... 13 years old when I first got shot at, bro. Like, in Inglewood, <laughs> at the forum. I know you Man. remember the, the carnivals at the yeah, forum every yeah, summer, yeah. right, when yeah, you about yeah, to get yeah. out of school. Hell I'm yeah, going to the forum, and I get shot at 13 years old. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, like, you don't count. Like, we here for a reason. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we blessed for a reason, bro. Yeah, so it's just like, I fulfilled pool, everything, bro. And it's like, literally. I got shot. I walked in through. The neck, you feel me? Ladder, like, come on. Shit. So it's, it's, it's like, for me. It's like I fulfilled it, bro. So it's like I can really sit here and be like, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish out of it, bro. So you told me Jerry Rice gave you a, a, a tip, that man. Game. That, that, that Before I hit the league. <laughs> you know what I mean? You said that you had a talk with Jerry Rice and he let you know something that yeah. man kept them legs a little bit, ticking a little bit longer, man. For what sure. was that? Man, see, so this was, I was a, uh, it was 2008 before I got drafted. Um, the agency I, I signed with at the time, they had uh, they had Jerry Rice signed to him, bro. So it was like a perk I got off of me signing with my agency that they had a relationship with Jerry Rice. So I had the opportunity to work out with Jerry Rice before I got to the league. And that workout, <laughs> like, again, once everything I'm going to tell you, bro, the source can tell you. I ain't going to tell you nothing from a motherfucking mouth that that source can't tell you itself. Jerry Rice was like, run every route. Hey, what is Jerry Rice? I grew up loving Jerry Rice. Randy Moss and Jerry Rice, they're yeah. my top down favorites, right? Yeah. So they like, run every route. So I get up there, I run every route. I'm cast up. Nigga, Jerry Rice watching me, nigga. Ah, yeah. ah, ah, snagging everything, balling, right? I run this last route. And he was like, come here. I'm like, I'm like what's up? He's like, I only got one thing to tell you. And when I tell you I ran every route, it's, the route tree probably about 12, 13 routes. I ran every route. He's like, I, I want to correct you on one route. He was like, that five yard out you running, he was like, you running too fast. He say, how fast you is, if you learn how to control your speed and run these routes, he say, the NFL ain't going to be able to fuck with you. Yeah. I said, oh, what? You told me one out of all these routes, you just going to correct me on one route? Yeah. Once he told me that was over, you couldn't tell me nothing else. The best, one of the best, re- fuck that, one of the best, the best receiver to play the game told me all I had to do was change up one route and give me a philosophy. Nigga, it was over after that, bro. Couldn't tell me nothing else. Uh, uh, Damn. 